Hello, welcome, and today we welcome you to today's show. And I'm going to be talking to Ormila Chaudhry, and she comes from the Taru community, uh, ethnic community. And today I'm going to talk with her about uh, Kalmari rights and how to be a Kalmari in the Taru community. Ormila, what is to be a Kalmari in your community? Or what is a Kalmari? Uh, Kamlari is a, a kind of slavery. Okay. Uh, this Kamlari system is exist only to that Haru community, not other community, because uh, our government said to Kamlari is only belongs to that Haru. Okay. And uh, Kamlari means when the Haru girls became six or seven years old. And that time, uh, their parents sent to the work other house because of uh, uh, our community, our generation. When is my grandfather, fathers, bring loan from the rich people? He can't pay interest. Then he said to, "You, if you can't pay interest from my loan, and you have to give your daughter at my house to work as a servant at the free." And uh, if uh, my family, they want to work on the field and they, should, and they say to, if you uh, give your daughter to work my house, then I give you land to work you, otherwise no. Someone need Kamlari and they say to, uh, okay, I, I will pay um, per year 3,000 or 4,000 in Nepali and they can send their daughter as a um, not uh, written contract, only um, verbally contract, mm -hmm. and they send their data. And, uh, and this uh, system is very, uh, you know, generation coming to generation to generation. But uh, finally, one organization that is free, uh, uh, Friends of Needy Children, this organization is start to talk about the uh, Kamlari rights. Uh, and um, they collect the data how many Kamlaris are in the out of the village. And finally, they find 13,000 girls are not at home. They work as a servant to the other house. Okay. Even they don't get education, they don't, they don't have even their own rights. Now everyone said to human rights, human rights. But the Kamlari girls, they don't have any human rights. And uh, the, um, uh, finally the uh, organization are very much active to the how to rescue them from other house. Even you talk my case. Hmm? I stay Kamlari, I suffer Kamlari system almost 11 and a half years. Mm -hmm. After 11 year and a half years, I rescued from the, that organization and I went to the school. When that time, I'm already 17 years old, you know. And so, so many girls, um, so many girls are suffering that kind of problem. Some facing the uh, physical problems, some you know, facing the uh, sexual harassment, or some are killing by the landlord and um, some are get to single mother and single mother in Nepal it um, is a, um, people say to is very bad a single mother is very very tough how to suffering this problem so Urmila how did you get freed from being a Kamlari a very very long story because uh, when I'm even the not complete six years old, you know, that time my parents sent to the other house to work. Even though I'm not able to carry even my plate. They doing demonstration in the Kathmandu that time, and my brother also he came to the demonstration here for their rights. They want to certificate from land. They want to free from the Kamaya system. And that time, actually, I saw the news in the television. The te television are broadcast, the um, Kamaya, they are in the Kathmandu and now it's very cold in Kathmandu, they don't have any blankets and they get um, freezing and they get sick. 
and that time I saw um, behind of the some people my brother he was standing there mm. and I recognize he is uh, my brother but I care not say to anybody because my landlady I'm very much afraid with my landlady I cannot say to he is uh, my brother I want to meet him I, 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 I cannot because I'm afraid mm. and uh, my brother, he called landlady so many times, but landlady, she doesn't give me the telephone. She said to, oh, nobody servant at my home. And finally, she gave me my brother call. She asked me, not even she doesn't give me my brother. And she asked me, Urmila, you have a brother? And she said, yes, I have a brother. And he's a Kathmandu. And I said, yes, Kathmandu. How do you know? And I said, yes, he's a Kathmandu. He came from the... He came for the demonstration in the free to the Kamaya system. I saw yesterday television and he she started to scolding me oh how do you get this kind of news and you were the not good girl and that time I request very much my landlady to I want to meet my brother and she bring she gave me five minutes. Within the five minutes I just I said to brother I need telephone number from my place because that time is no one used the telephone in the my village only one telephone and he gave me number not even the my village if you want to talk and I call today but they inform tomorrow then day after tomorrow my brother came to me call me because it's very far away and and, and that kind of process to how I am rescued and uh, how are you advocating for the freedom of other girls who are suffering? Actually, I suffer very much this problem. Mm -hmm. Even that I'm not get my education, I'm not get to um, stay uh, with my family. Sometimes I feel sick, but no, no one is scared me. That time I feel I'm really I'm a human, but uh, that treated me like an animal. And uh, that time I feel. Now I'm getting older, but if I raise my voice, I talk to the what is the Kamlari system, I, if I uh, encourage to rescue to the other girls, that will be a good point. And I said, yeah, now is time to talk, to raise our voice to we want to be free, not the slavery system, because we have the so many laws under 16, years old um, child cannot be walked to the other house that kind of policy we have but not uh, uh, follow this um, law and that's why i joined with the other organization mm -hmm. then we start to talk we need the freedom we need the education we don't want to go serve like a servant we want to go to school we have uh, so many slogans like a uh, um, our mother and father in the field to work and a child go to school we have a slogan and we went to the door to door to ask to people you how many daughters you have and they said to, oh, we have four daughters and two daughters in the home and two daughters to work and we said to okay uh, you can bring your daughter your home, then we want to admit school. But they said, we don't have money how to um, admit school for them. You, you Just you bring your daughter, just you give address, where are they? And the organization are give us the uniform and book and uh, everything what we need in the school time. They support us. And so, and um, this is not easy to how to rescue, but uh, because uh, our parents, they are very innocent. Even they don't know if they send their daughter to work, other has what kind of their daughter are facing problem. And our parents, they didn't know because it's nobody tell them they face very um, tough, uh, very uh, critical problem. And... Yes, uh, uh, we create a street drama. A street drama is very useful to our parents. And uh, a street drama is one is a um, 
crew landlady mm -hmm. and one is a servant or other is a friend and we create the what is the Kamlari system and why Kam Kamlari want to be free because it's Kamlari suffering very much problem. Kamlari system belongs only Tharu and uh, how to avoid our parents that's how to we uh, give them the some messages Kamlari system is bad system mm -hmm. we need the free we really want to go education and if we had an education uh, one day it's good for the, our society that's why I'm advocate for this yeah that's good and I also understand that you've been abroad advocating for the Kamlari rights and stuff so which countries have you been to and what uh, have you been up to there yeah because uh, uh, here is uh, we had a very big demonstration in the 2013 uh, in one girl she is a 12 years old and she was uh, uh, killed by the landlord she is born and uh, we in big state um, um, her story but uh, we couldn't find and finally we d we did the demonstration and that time we had a big demonstration with the government and with us and uh, here in the Kathmandu and that time you know, police are so much beaten us and our 75 girls they are in the jail and we are the um, uh, 20 25 we are the admit in hospital that time this demonstration i was late and so many times uh, we talk about the girls education girls rights mm -hmm. and uh, so many people and so many news even the international news also knows the what is the kamlari system and uh, one time uh, from the Netherlands, um, they called me um, the Urmila. Uh, she was a fight for the girls' rights in Nepal, and she is a very much deserved to the get one uh, award. And this award is uh, from award is name is freedom from fear. In the before this award get the. Uh, Angela Merkel, Nelson Mandela, and Malala. But in the 2018, I got this award. And so I was very humble to the, this organization, this Roosevelt Foundation and the Netherlands government. Mm -hmm. I was very humble for them because they are recognized me. It's in Nepal, it's a small country, mm -hmm. small country, but my village is a very tiny very small village and they recognize me mm -hmm. because after they see I was a fighting and it's not only I was fighting that's not only I am fighting mm -hmm. behind to the me is a, so many people mm -hmm. media and other uh, um, other uh, my friends are then other my um, school teacher even the so many people so many human rights activities mm -hmm. stand up behind after me mm -hmm. that's why I get the, this successful award in Nepal oh, amazing so could you just tell us a little bit about the women's rights and how are women treated in this community in the uh, Taro community uh, talking about the women rights, uh, mm -hmm. the Tharu community, if you want to go, mm -hmm. uh, they are the, um, you know, just I want to add a little bit. Mm -hmm. This Kamlari system, um, Kamlari system is because of the poverty. Okay. And poverty, land and women rights, if we combine. And the women rights is, um, you know, uh, the if we say that this is your rights, but they don't feel this is our rights because of the lack of education. And uh, if you would talk here is 33 percent in the parliament, in the other places, even you, we saw the local government, uh, local government also um, say to anyhow uh, the women participation is very important mm -hmm. but uh, if you talk is uh, generally is uh, now still our president is women but if we say if we saw other places if we count the percentage is uh, uh, women are very less very less uh, get the success 
So thank you so much uh, Urmila for joining us today and we are very happy to have you talking about the Kamnari rights and we really wish you all the best as you continue for the fighting of the rights and let's pray and let's fight. Thank you so much for um, giving me opportunity to share the, what is the Kamlari and what is the child rights, women rights. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to share this story because the Kamlari story is very much uh, inspiring to the other people too. Because uh, so many years they are bounded, but mm -hmm. finally they are free. And mm -hmm. so many girls now is educated, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. some girls get to business women, mm -hmm. and some are going to lawyer. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share this story. Thank Let's you. fight.